Hey friends. I am so excited today. You know what? We might have a special visitor today. What makes him special is that he is a small, soft puppet who likes to visit classes like ours and talk and sing with children like you. His name's Al. Another thing that makes him special is that he only comes out of his home when the teacher and the children are very calm and invite him by singing a special song because he visits a lot of classes. So I'll teach you this song, okay? In a little bit. We're going to go over a few things first. Now let's think of how it might feel for Al to visit our class for the first time. If you were new and coming into our classroom for the first time, how would you feel? I want you to think about that. What if we were going to school in school and school had already started for a couple weeks and you were a brand new student coming in and all those other kids had been there before? How would you feel? You'd be so new and you wouldn't know anybody. It's kind of how Al would feel. And it's how you might feel when we actually start school because you guys see each other on Zoom, but it's not the same. You're kind of learning each other's names, the ones, you know, to get on the Zoom meetings, but you guys, once you're in school, might not recognize everybody. So, you know, just think, how would it be? It's going to be different, right? Now, how would you want the other children to act if you were new? Think about that. And also, who knows what the word comfortable means? Now, if you're comfortable in a new class, you feel like you fit in or that you belong. Now, what would make you feel comfortable if you were visiting a new classroom? Hmm. Think. What would the children have to do to make you feel comfortable in that class? Now, do you think Al would feel more comfortable if we were all playing around in different parts of the room? Or if we were all sitting together, ready to listen and talk to him? Would he feel more comfortable if children all ran up to him or if we stayed in our seats and talked with him? Remember, he likes it when children are ready to listen and ready to participate. Do you think he would feel more comfortable if we all tried to touch him because he is soft and bright? Or if we asked him if he minded if we touched him? Maybe he wouldn't feel right if everybody just rushed up to him at the same time. Some people don't like that. I personally love hugs, love when you guys hug me, but some people don't like that. But right now I'm going to teach you this special song and then we'll sing it together and see if Al feels comfortable enough to come out. This is the magic song. When he hears this, he wants to come out. So I'm going to just say the lyrics first then I'll sing them and the next time we'll play it with music and then we'll all learn it together so it goes like this Al will you come out Al will you come out Al will you come out to talk with us we're sitting calmly there's no fuss Al will will you come out and talk with us Let's do it one more time. Al, will you come out? Al, will you come out? Al, will you come out to talk with us? We're sitting calmly. There's no fuss. Al, will you come out to talk with us? So that's how it goes. So when you're singing it, it goes like this. Al, will you come out? Al, will you come out? Al, will you come out and talk with us? We're sitting calmly. There's no fuss. Al, will you come out and talk to us? 
That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, let's see. Hmm. I think I hear a knock at the door. Who might that be? Hi. My name's Al. Hi. Hi, Al. Let's all say hi to Al. I was listening before and I heard you talking about lots of different things. All of you had fun and important things to say. I like listening to you. Well, Al, why don't you tell the boys and girls why you're here? I like to talk to boys and girls about a lot of things, like feelings and solving problems. Did you know you have made me feel comfortable by the way you're listening nicely right now? That's good, Al. We're glad you feel that way. We are learning how important it is to be polite and respect others. We show respect when we use polite words and think of others before acting, right? This sounds good. I know my friends would like to come visit with you too. We like to be with people who show respect. That's what you have been doing today by listening. I like that. Al, the children and I had a question. Since you are so bright and soft, we wondered if when we are all in school and we have the kids all sitting in a circle right around us, we wondered if you would mind if they touched you. I heard you talking about that and it makes me feel good that you would ask. I do know what touch I like. It's a gentle touch. Can you all put up your little finger? Here's your little finger. It's the smallest one on your hand. The one on the end. This one. Hold that one up. Okay. Good. With your little finger, give yourself two gentle, soft touches. Kind of like that. Just like that. That's the kind of touch I like. Sometimes I let the teacher walk around with me and each child may give me two gentle touches on the back of my head using their pinky finger. This one is called your pinky finger. The last one on your hand. And you just touch his head like that, the back. That's what he likes. Now, is this what you mean? Just right on the back of your head, just with your little pinky finger. So when we have the kids in the classroom, you want me to walk around to each child who is sitting quietly? Yes, that would make me feel very good. Do you think you could do that, children? It's about time for me to leave for today, but I feel so welcome. I will come back real soon. As Mrs. Desjardins comes around, once you guys are all in the classroom and you give me a gentle touch, would you tell me your name? Just say, my name is, now, <clears throat> excuse me, this is how you would do that. Hi, Al. My name is Mrs. Desjardins. How are you? That's what you do. That's all you do. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Desjardins. Thank you for being gentle. Well, Al, I think you may have met everyone. Hopefully everybody has seen the video and meets Al. Since you have to leave now, we would like to sing a goodbye song. Now, we know our goodbye song, but there's a new song that we'll learn next time. It's called Bye Bye Al. Okay. So that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Al. He's one of my dear friends. And every Tuesday and Wednesday this year, at least while we're going virtual like this, we'll do Al's Pals lessons Tuesday and on Wednesday. And there's Al, he's got two more friends too that sometimes he likes to bring with him. Isn't that cool? We might get to meet all three of them. So right now, just say bye bye Al. Bye Al. Bye bye. Bye kids. Bye. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.